I'm standing here as one privileged by God's grace, having been shown mercy by God. And upon the graces that are here represented, I want you to receive and watch the wonder-working power of the prophetic under the influence of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, every door that has been closed over your life and over your destiny, I speak to that door now. In the name of Jesus, be opened. In the name of Jesus, be opened. Doors of opportunity be opened. Doors of opportunity be opened. Doors of seasons be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that there be an impartation of the spirit of wisdom. Wisdom like you have never seen. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Wisdom in ministry. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in finances. Wisdom in leadership. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a grace that brings speed. When Isaac. When Isaac met Jacob disguising to be Esau and said how come you have brought the venison so quickly he said it is because the Lord has brought it to me there are things men look for but there are things God can bring to you in the name of Jesus I pray for you may the God of all grace bring speed to your life speed in ministry speed to your accomplishments 10 years in one year 10 years in one year by the spirit of the living God 10 years in one year that by this time next year you'll be 10 times better 10 times better I place grace upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ he said by you I can run through a troop by my God, I can leap over a wall. I declare strength. The Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, it is because your strength is small. Man of God receives strength. Strength by the Spirit. Strength for the journey. Strength in business. Strength for the remaining months of the year. In the name of Jesus. Esther chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 the Bible says while the virgins were being prepared to see the king so that he would choose a bride from them verse 9 it says the young woman Esther pleased the king or pleased Haggai and she obtained favor the proof that she had favor was that he readily gave her KJV says he speedily gave her. Let me tell you the truth. Answers have timing. Not every time is convenient for every answer. There are answers that come too late. It says satisfy me early with your mercy. I'm still praying speed over you. In the name that is above all names. As an expression of the favor of the Lord. I pray for you. Speedy answers. Speedy manifestations. Speedy answers. Speedy manifestations. Speedy answers. Speedy manifestations. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are four kinds of men you will always need in your life. Number one, divine connectors. They do not have what it takes to help you, but they know who has what it takes to help you. Number two, men of influence. They have built a track record and their credibility and their endorsement can become a leverage, an advantage for your acceleration. Number three, gifted men. Their assignment is to bring efficiency to your system. Number four, burden bearers. They don't move you forward, they stop you from going backward. If you lack these four kinds of men, you will fail woefully in life. Destiny actualization 
is highly men dependent i pray for you in the name of jesus the one who has shown men mercy that these four categories of people beginning from tonight may they show up in your life may they show up in your life divine connectors may they show up in your life men of influence may they show up in your life gifted persons may they show up in your life burden bearers may they show up in your life in the name of jesus two more prayers and we're done i believe in the ministry of the holy spirit i don't know what you have been taught about the holy spirit but ladies and gentlemen please hear me the bible calls the holy spirit a helper the helper that paraclet is not a pentecostal phenomenon you can fail alone but you and the holy spirit make an invincible team an invincible team many of you have not been trained to appreciate and to recognize the ministry of the holy spirit we have reduced him to falling down and just miracles but there's more it says when he the spirit of truth is come that he will guide you even though you have truth you have to be guided to use truth as a weapon for your profiting satan can use truth to kill you you can fall in error because of truth truth is a weapon it can be used by both satan and god just because you have truth does not mean it will profit you you need to be guided into all truth that you use truth like a weapon and produce from it a life of victory i want to pray for you that something will happen to your relationship with the holy spirit and you don't have to be a man of god truly he's the advantage that was given to the believer the one who turns ordinary men to be signs and wonders i pray for you in the name of jesus that you will enjoy a rich walk with the holy spirit from tonight in the place of prayer in the place of fellowship in the place of worship may you hear his voice with clarity may he guide every step in your life bringing you guidance bringing you direction causing you to triumph in ever increasing dimensions that through him you will manifest through your life the glory that excels ever increasing glory in the name of jesus christ ever increasing wisdom in the name of jesus christ ever increasing glory in the name of jesus christ the final prayer acts chapter 2 from verse 42 to 47 it leaves for us an apostolic model for growth and transformation i would not have done enough justice if we do not pray and i do not speak over you on this wise it matters that believers grow growth in the kingdom is methodical there is a theology to spiritual growth you do not freelance growth no there is an exact formula like passing a product from one end of a machine and bringing out a superior product a believer can be passed through a system of growth and the end of that believer will be a glorious believer a powerful believer are we together the apostolic model is given in verse 42 and they continued steadfastly acts chapter 2 in the apostles doctrine and in fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers acts chapter 6 and verse 4 but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word acts 6 4 give ourselves continually 6 and verse 4 to prayer and to the ministry of the word media acts chapter 6 and verse 4 thank you the, the ministry of the word hear me kenya hear me body of christ I'm going to pray for you now you have to cultivate an appetite for the word you cannot freelance the word giving it five minutes carelessly listening to a message and sleep and wake up and push it away and attain unto stature in the spirit God is not a magician the only kind of growth that is natural is biological growth every kind of growth is sponsored by your diligence in the spirit I must pray for you there are many people's prayer altar that has gone down, including preachers. There are many people's word study life that has gone down. 
the corporate fellowship, your appetite for spiritual things, I have to end my session by praying this prayer, is the greatest gift any man of God can give you. The gift of prayer that your spiritual life becomes robust through your engaging effectively, methodically, consistently in the ministry of prayer, your word study, engaging the truths of God's word, go for high level spiritual illumination read your bible study materials that are profitable for your growth listen to teachings speak the word obtain grace to walk in obedience obedience that's how you enter your rest are we together so that we do not end this conference with tens of thousands of people and you only received without a responsibility component the prayer I'm praying for you now is that in the name of Jesus, the hunger, because hunger is a gift and hunger is proof of health. When people fall sick, the first thing they lose is appetite. Some of you have lost your appetite. It's proof you are not healthy. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, the grace for the word, let it rest upon you. The grace for the word that you will love the word above your necessary food. Let that grace rest upon you. Be students of scripture in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your word study life. Again, the appetite to study the word, to know the word, to engage the word. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. I pray over your fire altar that the fire that has gone down let it be fanned back to flames tonight in the name of Jesus. The grace to pray and to pray through. The grace to pray and to pray through till you are transformed, till you access mysteries, till you translate realities, till you give them frame in the place of prayer. I declare, let that grace be supplied you now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you will not neglect the gathering of believers as the manner of some are i pray for you anyone here who is not serious with church you are not serious with the convergence of believers let grace come upon you to be planted in a local assembly to be planted in an apostolic platform for your maturing for your growth in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus everything that is antichrist everything that is anti-destiny roaming around your life i stand under the corporate anointing in agreement with every servant of god here represented and we decree and declare let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah the bible says in revelation chapter 3 it says i am he that was dead and now is alive he said and i hold the keys the holder of the key of david the key of david is a mysterious possibility in the kingdom he says and by that key i open a door that no man can shut can i declare the opening of doors listen a door is an authorized point of access if someone comes into your house through the fence he's in your house but he's not welcome because your fence is not the authorized access point jesus said i am the door that is how important doors are but doors and gates can also be barriers they limit access when they are closed a door that is there is a potential for access doors midwife realms your kitchen your living room your bathroom they are separated by walls and separated by doors if you want to midwife or transit from one part of your house to the other you don't walk through the wall you walk through the door but how many of you know that as as powerful as you are you can misplace the key to your door and it can keep you outside for a long time can i declare the opening of doors in the name of jesus the son of the living god every door every gate before you that has remained closed i speak to it now a be open a be open 
Career doors be open. Career doors be open. Family doors be open. Financial doors be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Son of man, can these bones live again? He says, only down the west. He said, prophesy to these bones. And tell them, oh bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. That God will cause flesh and sinews to come upon you. But the flesh was there, but it was lifeless. He says, son of man, call the four winds and say, oh wind, breathe upon this lane. And they became an exceeding great army. I declare, let the wind of the spirit blow upon everything dead in your life. Blow upon everything dead in your life. Blow upon dead finances, dead marriages, dead wounds, dead organs. Come back to life by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For the sake of time, I made a request in the morning. We may not have the time to collate them, but please lift your prayer requests and your expectation cards. Can I speak over them, please? If you have it, if it's in an e-version, just lift your phone or just stand by faith. And for those who are connecting, distance is no barrier at all. All of the experience centers and then those who are connecting from across the globe. This is how powerful God is. Hallelujah. Pray in the spirit in one minute. A miracle is about to happen to you. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing. It says, But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. Don't assume that he knows. Let your request be made known. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, keep it lifted, please. Help them. I'm about to pray for you and I please want you to believe. I want you to believe. I'm standing under the corporate anointing here and I want to speak over this. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus told us that when the Spirit of God comes, He will testify of Him. He does not have any agenda on His own except to reveal Jesus. To reveal Him as the way. To reveal Him as the truth and to reveal him as life everywhere you see the holy spirit his assignment is to reveal jesus in his entirety i want to pray for you right now please believe believe in the name of jesus take your mind away from the long-standing issues and let your attention be on jesus in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that every prayer request every expectation here lifted in the name of Jesus we turn it to testimonies now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ hear me for someone here is your prophetic word you will not see wind you will not see rain yet your valley shall be filled with water i decree it unto you you will not see wind you will not see rain but your valley shall be filled with water in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for another person here you will experience the mystery of Aaron's rod that even though it is not connected to the earth it will still board I decree and declare you may not have any regular advantage but may the Holy Ghost be your advantage in your office may he be your advantage in Lagos in Abuja in Nigeria in Europe in America may he be your advantage in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the lifeless body of jesus 
is lying in the tomb of joseph of arimathea and my bible says if that same spirit that raised christ from the dead that if that same spirit resides hold on that means anywhere that dimension of the spirit is it raises whatever it rests on anything if it rests on a body it quickens the organs if it rests on finances it compels multiplication if that same spirit that spirit is a razor it does not leave anything at the level it met it if that same spirit i sense in my heart to declare over your finances please listen to me and don't allow anybody lie to you that it's not important no there is a prophetic dimension to wealth wealth answers to value it answers to productivity it is true but there is a, a dimension of wealth that comes by the prophetic it says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe his prophets so shall you prosper the prophet said by this time tomorrow there was no economic manipulation that would turn samaria to a place of abundance in 24 hours but the prophetic and that by the spirit let me speak over someone's wilderness according to isaiah 32 and verse 15 it says until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest everywhere there is drought even financially i command abundance now abundance through the ministry of mercy abundance through the gift of men in the name of jesus christ and for someone lifting your request i speak to you these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus my final declaration over your life dead prayer lives dead word study lives dead passion and appetite for the things of god it says that the fire upon the altar it must burn day and night for some of you you came for this conference it's a renewal conference for you because your prayer life until you came here was dead or dying word study life dead or dying passion for spiritual things dead or dying it doesn't matter what category by the spirit of the living god we find your prayer life back to flames we find your word study life back to flames we find your passion for god for the things of god for the house of god back to flames in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus wave your hands to jesus as an offering in faith believing it says what things soever ye believe when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them is someone saying thank you jesus thank you for the healing thank you for the new dimension thank you for the flight in the spirit for in jesus matchless name we have prayed can i tell you this hear me i made a vow and a covenant with god i said lord whatever it is that comes from my bloodline and my family i obtain grace even if it's for me to be the sacrifice that i will fight it with my life taking advantage of the victory that is in christ so that everyone that comes from me will enjoy that liberty someone may need to make that commitment and say lord my sincere parents my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge but will you use me as that priest let me be that mediator between the old and the new someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart Someone pray. Please pray. Please pray. Let every other name fade away. 
let every other name trade away. Jesus, let every other name trade away. Let every other name trade away. Jesus, take your glory. Jesus, take your name. Please look at me. Hear me. I have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their lives like that. Like from father to children. There was no history of that demonic thing. But everybody like that. I know people who are healthy and sound and fine. About to get married. They went to do blood tests. And they suddenly found out that one person is HIV. And the person said, I can't, there is no way this would have come. Medically certified. When everything scatters, they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound. I'd like you to pray and say in the name of Jesus Christ. Say it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority. I am a spirit with a mortal body. I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air, the realm of the sea. Someone is praying. Shabakata barata kata balaka to shabundos. Ekrata kata barato soto brenda kata balaka dia. Shakata braska kata balaka ta. Embra kata baraka to shabakate. Pray. Something is happening. Pray. Something is happening. Ho bate kata baraka to shkedia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward. And I declare, Holy Spirit, I am in partnership with you. Every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life i declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray i take my place i take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by god to find expression in my life in this season i declare i take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shaba gata ba gata ba gata ba gata ba gata ba la sosia. Ebra katosh kodo branda gata ba lekata. Shabra gata ba ruskiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every system of authorization working against my life, my family, my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Shekete pakata balakatosh, embrekete kata paros kotoba, 
be silenced in the name of Jesus systems of authorization fighting your influence fighting your destiny hallelujah hallelujah now hear me this prayer you are about to pray many miracles are going to come out of it say in the name of jesus i declare that this body is the temple of the holy spirit therefore every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life i command depart now open your mouth and pray depart fibroids depart high blood pressure depart cancer depart someone pray tumors growth depart blood conditions depart Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident by sickness by the activity of wicked people i cause it right now go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents hallelujah in the name of jesus please don't be distracted jeremiah 22 29 please give it to us quickly jeremiah 22 verse 29 it says "O earth 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 hear ye O earth 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 it says hear ye the word of the lord the earth is a universal point of contact the bible says as for the earth out of it comes bread it says the profit of the earth is for all and even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth i like you to pray say in the name of jesus my portion given to me by god i decree and declare through the ministry of men let it gravitate towards my destiny open your mouth and pray god is a god of portions god is a god of portions pray god is a god of portions hallelujah say in the name of jesus every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me 
by those who were before me I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb I reject it right now I reject it go ahead and pray every negative inheritance inheritance that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors I reject it someone pray I reject it I reject it I reject it in the name of Jesus I reject it Shabagata Barakos Abrakatos Kateva Lakatesh Hallelujah. Listen. The implication of having dominion over the realm of the air, the realm of water, the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture. Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements, did the Bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day? not the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord work in partnership with the holy spirit and the word of god for my favor for my destiny not against me open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural I decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scorching tongues of men shall not catch up with me I have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. Genesis 1 from verse 20. I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see. Are you ready? And God said, Let the waters do what? Bring forth abundantly. So water is connected to abundance. And water in scripture means men too. Are we together? It is not just about physical water. Water is also prophetic and symbolic of men. It says, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life. The fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. 21. Let's read together. One to read. And God created the great whales and every living creature that moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly hold on we are going to declare the prayer of abundance waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water water here means men are we together water prophetic that means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men and the bible says god can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly say in the name of jesus i decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life for my assignment through the ministry of men i declare let it be released unto me go ahead and pray let the waters bring forth abundantly Someone pray, someone pray. Let the water spring forth abundantly. hallelujah psalm 79 verse 11 psalm 79 verse 11 let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power preserve thou those that are appointed to die death is an appointment i can reject an appointment that you give me we can fix an appointment for 12 and i can choose to reject it is that true please look up for there to be an appointment it means there must be some sort of consent even if not mutual there has to be an awareness okay you go to apply for a visa you expect an appointment there is an understanding between you and the 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 consular officers that there is an appointment so when the bible talks about an appointment it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed even if you are not there like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th so when the bible says there are people appointed to die it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them 
already made the appointment in the name of Jesus Christ every appointment whether by covenant whether by ignorance or by disobedience with the spirit of death I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of esther you will find out that haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack i can tell you this for sure no terrorist attacks at will no they consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go that's why it looks like it is effortless regardless army regardless whatever i say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best but there has to be a spiritual advantage can i tell you the truth if you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength you will be a victim of several casualties it is not like satan and terrorists are so powerful their advantage is not in their physical armory i tell you this their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit and it is good for us to pray but for god's sake prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying hallelujah so they set a date and even though her man was dead the decree of the date for destruction still continued it took another decree to change it the bible says where the word of a king is he says there is power he said declare ye that thou mightest be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is weed in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as weed as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me we are going to make decrees every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation in this city and around please don't say it does not concern you don't make the mistake of esther when her man was plotting evil esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and mordecai sent a warning he said do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us you will be spared for you do not know whether it is for such a time as this everyone who has been kidnapped even those killed they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you don't forget that you have not you have not stopped moving you too move out in the morning and in the night so don't say it does not matter shout this from the depth of your heart say in the name of jesus i take my place as one who has authority and i decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of terrorism the spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you 
be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken we prophesy to the north we prophesy to the south we prophesy to the east we prophesy to the west in the name of jesus we declare the ministry of angels may they excel in strength by the word of the lord we declare this by the decree of the watchers in the name of jesus christ there is no rest and no peace for evil hallelujah hallelujah let me just add this one last one you are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you listen listen you have to reject bad news between now and december you, you, your your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that will depress you and waste your time it is within your power yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true and hath the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of david he opened it that means if you don't have the key of david you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of david and by the mystery of the key of david that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 it says i know thy works behold i who has the key of david i have opened before thee he says i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because i acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name i stand in partnership with the holy spirit and according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 i decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open Doors of favor be open and remain open. Doors of lifting be open and remain open.
doors of restoration be open and remain open doors of opportunity be open and remain open doors of speed be open and remain open hear me i release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them i say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the hold of the key of david has opened Makesh may this prophetic word judge them Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging, that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand, in the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. Mercy is a weapon, and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that i have taken out of fire and he said the lord rebuke you listen the mercy of god is a weapon you can use it and say satan i know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this i present to you the mercy of god i present to you the blood of the eternal covenant i present to you the advocacy of jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking i present to you the sinless blood i present to you calvary shout your voice invoke mercy are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer i know i've not been a tighter you are authorized to destroy me but see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood you should be destroyed but the blood will speak hear me you live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen and the earth cries against you but when i see the blood when I see the blood, you were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and bleed the blood. Hey! In for mercy. Come on now. In for mercy. hallelujah hear me the bible says blotting out every 
handwriting there are handwritings there are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again the devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now but it can blot it out but it can blot it out it can blot out it can blot out it can blot out it can blot out it can I command the name of Jesus. In 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 the name of Was he praying? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless so if the blood of jesus takes away the legal access the effect must leave me to open your mouth and declare every pattern you have been blotted you need my life patterns of barrenness patterns of failure come on now koinonia you pray Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, Oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions, and blood is speaking, and that's why your life is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but now that you are in christ what of the blood he showed me joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what I did for my own life, oh, let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says, the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations. 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if I appropriate the revelation 
that have been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation i can't go to hell because i, I was born in kogi or i was born in plateau state i did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is cursed, i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen i'd like you to pray with all your heart and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. Why not are you praying? Alienated. Every biological disorder. Every genetic disorder. Every yoke. That made you S S. That made you A S. That gave you hepatitis. It was God tonight. The spirit of the Lord Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ his advocacy at the throne of the father does not happen automatically it happens in response to an incense sent from the earth the same way his high priest, priestly ministry the bible says is in the order of melchizedek melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with abraham and he gave him a tenth of all i want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos Kupadabash. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. From activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom. I command liberty. The blood speaks right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is cursed for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 It says, And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed 
and heirs according to the promise i want to speak and set you free there is a cause of hardship many people are victims of this cause hardship has nothing to do with poverty listen carefully many people here you are standing representing your families as i pray and right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the son of the living god i stretch my hands right now i command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder help them be taken from off your shoulders be taken from off your shoulders right now in the name of jesus i command that cause of action be taken from off your shoulders in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hear me i declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of jesus christ every yoke of this favor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said I have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark secreto shalakas katabadiyasha lebren tekes kotabras kataria any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting walls keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that man be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes ss jacatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of causes and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now 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 I am 
renounce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have written in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now 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 i pray over your life and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and the bible says elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jezreel i want to speak speed in your life i don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of god for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore i command speed step into it right now in the name of jesus i command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the last prayer point i want to pray for you for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth there is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing the yoke destroying there is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate i want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like mara the water you will pick it and in the name of jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetter the plants of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now soto soto leke to sketenika a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace carry the unction command deliverance make environments cost free in the name of jesus your home your presence in your office your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because your garden is not of god there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of god receive it now in the name of jesus Everybody will receive, but particularly 
you are you are a minister of the gospel let your heart be open i want to release a grace upon you ministers of the gospel it's time to to this powerlessness in the church if we do not drive it away by the introduction of genuine graces the purposes of god and the program of god will suffer i call upon the god of my covenant and in the name of jesus i declare for everyone called into ministry the mantle and the grace needed take it now 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 the grace needed for efficiency receive it in the name of jesus hear me if you are a prophet here may your eyes and your ears be opened supernaturally may a mantle come upon you male and female may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus christ the healing anointing I'm seeing fire coming on the hands of people I don't know who you are but drink of that fountain in the name of Jesus Christ drink of that fountain a new wave of the healing anointing a new wave of the healing anointing I release it upon you I, re I release it upon you take that grace now signs and wonders I shift you into a ministry of signs and wonders potent signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ that through your hands the blind will see through your hands the deaf will hear through your hands cripples will walk in the name of Jesus Christ hear me every dimension of the gift of the spirit that is missing in your life but required for your destiny i'm telling you i'm seeing like candles i'm seeing candles in the spirit and fire is coming on those candles this is what i'm seeing it looks like acts chapter 2 and verse 1 that pentecost fire let it come upon you now that pentecost fire let it come upon you now pentecost fire with proof in your spiritual life I'm still praying for everyone but particularly ministers of the gospel the spirit of revelation superior illumination into scripture I tell you men and women will teach scripture like never before the Word of God will open up to you you will communicate doctrine and the mysteries of scripture with precision and exactitude receive that grace right now receive that grace the spirit of revelation in the name of jesus christ every altar that has been barren of power for any man or woman of god here in the name of jesus return back to your various stations with fire return back to your various stations with fire in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord let's do the finance one now father it is your desire for your people to prosper even in this season and many of them have come from situations right now where except you help and show mercy certain financial doors may not seem to be opened but in the name of Jesus you have orchestrated this service for the mysterious lifting of men therefore the grace component required for your financial exploits receive it now Hmm. Hmm. receive it now receive it now hear me 
there are many of you by reason of this impartation a strange order of wisdom is resting on your mind superior strategies superior ideas in the name of jesus christ and every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here i don't care for how long it has been i arrest it now in the name of jesus i arrest it now in the name of jesus i arrest it now in the name of jesus hallelujah please be silent I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now. Just be silent. You don't say you've prayed. This is the instruction God is giving me. I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies. And usually I will ask you to shout, but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent. In the name of Jesus, Father, even as you have instructed, everyone here and every family here, under the influence of wicked spirits, yokes, covenants aha in the name of jesus christ i'm telling you there's there's such fire that is moving in the name of jesus let there be deliverance for such people supernaturally please bring them out whether for individuals or families very quickly men and women everything that has tied your progress i decree and declare right now be released be released be released please bring them out my god fire is falling in this place bring them quickly ancestry yokes of darkness you may not even know that is the cause the bible says now the lord is that spirit something is leaving you i'm seeing someone like a chain around your waist let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken, let it be broken now by the power of the holy ghost let it be broken now release their destinies release their destinies release their destinies it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your siblings the blood is speaking against it now the apakosh ketepata the blood is speaking against it now yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none other Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please bring them out quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sing yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, you are the king, there is no other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm seeing fire burn the feet of people, and the Lord is saying He's opening graves. I don't know what this means, but in the name of Jesus, every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry, I stretch my hands, fire, fire begins to burn everything that is not of God. Bring them out. Let it destroy the works of darkness. Let it destroy the works of darkness connected to ancestry connected to the spirits of the dead be delivered now
I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Sanakos Kedila Sobesha La Cruz Kevaniata Engrotoso de Balakusia. Every two, two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm saying. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now. Right now, I break that chain of that pattern of death. That pattern of death. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has vowed that you must die this year I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke that influence over your life and I hope you know that as you are standing here you can stand in for your loved ones too wherever they are spirit of death I speak to you you know my voice anyone whose destiny you have hijacked release them now release them now release them now negative and demonic dreams seeing yourself in the past past schools writing exams that never finish all kinds of satanic things everything that connects you negatively to yesterday be set free right now please help them this apakatoshka tepata be set free right now be set free right now hear me the lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again you go to bed and you see yourself doing things you had done before levels you have left according to scripture believers don't go backward we only go forward every spirit drawing you back i break you from their influence now let me tell you this hear me i hope you know i used to have those experiences myself before you've heard my story as a man of God, though, not just a, an, an ordinary believer, I used to have those experiences where demons would come and press me and all those things. I would shout Jesus, shout Jesus, nothing will happen. That is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people, I do it with passion because I've been a victim of oppression. Again, let me speak to someone. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have tried, and yet nothing has changed. In the name of Jesus, this night, be delivered permanently. 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 hallelujah don't be tired i'm seeing in a vision this is what i'm seeing the hands of people tied how can a man move like this with your hands tied how can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus let fire from heaven your hand is a symbol of your productivity you may even have a job yet your hands are tied i don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied at the count of three shout jesus and your deliverance comes one two three shout jesus be delivered now i break those chains i break them from your hands i break those chains i break them from your hands hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me the vision of a door and I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door and according to the vision I'm seeing 
trying to force the door to open and some are even crying and I'm seeing people dropping like dying yet that door is not opened I believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression that doors and I believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood there are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door you can go abroad you can school like this our dear woman the professor that came to give a testimony let me open that door prophetically I taught you at the beginning of this year that there are three ways doors are open number one is by the use of the right key number two is by knocking the ministry of men but number three by force and power let me use number three because when those doors open they open from their foundations i decree and declare every generational door that has closed parakatos yata i stand and as an apostle of the lord jesus christ let that door be open now i break that door now i break that door now i break that door now generational doors be open be open be open Efata, be open be broken in the name of jesus christ You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service hear me you see when a door is open or broken the most important thing is that the right of way has been given you will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you in the name of jesus for all who are in front here, I declare prophetically that God who has located you, you have come out by the anointing, the spirits that oppress you, I declare the count of three in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. They release you once and for all. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. One, two, three, go, go, go. Release them now. Out of their lives, never to return again. In the name of Jesus. The sun sets them free and we declare as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ they are free forever they are free forever they are free forever in the name of Jesus please hear me I told you that I have discerned that among the many things that God is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability you see the teachings that i've been bringing these are not just teachings that are coming carelessly because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of christ please hear me is death through sickness mysteriously people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for are we together now it is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing and to be able to communicate God, God's intent for his people. So this prayer for healing, we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone. You can always register your testimony. But I want to pray with you. Listen, if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick, please, as I'm praying, connect with them so that they don't die for nothing. And for those who are connecting from any hospital, our teaching hospitals, private hospitals, now is the time. It's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith. Please connect. We're, we're, we're talking now under the influence of the anointing. Lay your hands on your chest. If you have a medical report, bring it out. I'm about to pray. That devil must let you go. Must let your children go. Please place your hand right now. I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then we'll pray. Praises to your name, O oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Place your hand there. I sing praises to your name, O oh God. 
praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly. As I pray for you, I shout the name of Jesus. I want you to thunder a loud amen. Let the devil and let that sickness know. I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again I speak as one sent from God may that spirit leave your body now that devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe, to South Africa, to Kenya, to Zimbabwe, to Ghana, to Lagos, to Abuja, to Joss, to Kano. Let the healing power of God begin to flow right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Blood conditions be healed now. Cancer die now. HIV be healed now. Blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now. Blind eyes, partial or complete blindness, we command that you open now deaf ears be open now anyone here suffering from the issue of blood I declare be healed right now every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body there is someone fire is coming on you there's movement all over your body you literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now there's someone you are having a problem with your heart in the name of Jesus be healed right now the Lord is showing me a woman in a vision it started like having you know how you have cold maybe a flu or something and then you lose your voice but till now your voice is not restored this has this has become months you know most times people just take maybe lemon warm water or something some you know and and then eventually their voices their, their, the sound returns but for this woman your, your your voice refused to return back so you speak as though you are whispering it's a demonic thing i restore your speaking now in the name of jesus christ there is a woman you are laying your hands right now you are in this place you are laying your hands upon your daughter your little baby there's been a mysterious sickness you don't even know why she's losing appetite she's not eating 
she not, not sucking not doing all of that in the name of Jesus Christ let that little baby be healed right now now whether I've mentioned your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed now the Lord is showing me a plot by darkness to take someone's father and mother the same day this is what I'm saying in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is a mysterious sickness just destroying both of them like in this not accident like that just you know in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare we extend their life to its fullest you will not lose any of your loved ones again therefore be healed be perfected there's someone you have your own is not heart palpitations I'm not a medical doctor I'm just sharing what the Lord is showing me your heart is not pumping blood properly this is what is wrong with you I may not know the, the medical name of that situation but it makes you dizzy it, I mean it's, it's like the, the case that I mentioned earlier here in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is whatever blockage is around your heart that extends to your veins your arteries whatever is stopping the normal blood flow to supply oxygen to the body in Jesus name we declare supernaturally let there be healing let there be healing
but I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a spirit of bad luck. Yes. Huh? That people just, people hate you, yes. people reject you, yes. people fight you, yes. and they give meaning to you, something that is not yes. true. And there are many people who have that kind of thing. Anybody who is being perceived wrongly in the name of Jesus, that veil that is making men to treat you as the person you are not, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that fail now. I tear off that fail now. What's that restore song? Sing it for me. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore. there is a man i will not advise that you come out but i'm seeing the number 59 million you lost 59 million i don't know if it was in an investment or whatever it is but that's why i raised that song for you because the lord is saying he wants to restore you and I'm, I'm using that man as a point of contact anyone who has lost anyone naira I don't care for no matter how long by the power that raised, if you believe in the prophetic then i'm speaking to you between now and the next three months in the name of jesus the son of the living god let there be supernatural restoration let there be supernatural restoration you will be surprised to see what god will do don't doubt i declare restoration First for the man God revealed to me and then for anyone who is in that condition may my God restore you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you can return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to minister deliverance to the captives. Hmm. As you are standing here, connect your family to yourself by faith. So that what is happening to you, you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them. It is as for me and my house. Me and my house. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus and once you shout that name Jesus please hear me whether you are an elderly person a young person male female within this ground or across the nations of the earth the power of God to deliver to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing that power is about to be released and I want you to believe it please believe it please believe it negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way i decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so i minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout jesus declare that every manifestation of evil 
around any family here represented affecting women affecting men affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you the lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now the power of god is coming upon such people i'm seeing the number 11 in the name of jesus wherever you are whether within this auditorium the balcony anywhere across in the name of jesus let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now hallelujah gift who is gift i just had the name gift g-i-f-t gift your name is gift gift there is a door that is closed and i'm seeing a hand trying to open that door and the lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny gift this is what i'm hearing father honor your word right now i stretch my hands over gift whether here or anyone whatever is responsible for this closed door let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now, now. self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be open now in the name of jesus let that door be open now over gift whether you or your family in the name of jesus may the god of all grace swing those doors open now hallelujah there are three people in the crowd the congregation the lord is telling me that i should pray for you you are the brain behind many things but every time it's time to be rewarded you are exchanged there is a spirit that always makes that the the honor that should come to you for your sacrifice you are never truly seen in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number three i don't know who that person is whatever makes a replacement whenever honor comes it's like you are being replaced and the wrong people are lifted inside of you in jesus name someone is by the pillar i'm seeing an anointing by the pillar there is someone we are one of them the hand of god is upon you may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now that puts you in your rightful place in life and destiny in the name of jesus christ hallelujah I'm seeing in a vision the name UN and the Lord is saying someone is going to get a job UN United Nations now you will come and testify here I prophesy it in the name of Jesus God who revealed it may he put it in your hands I say it again God who revealed it I'm seeing UN the logo of UN United Nations may God no matter where you are may God use people to connect you to it in the name of Jesus my dear look at me this lady release this family now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare for those of you who are in front here you are delivered now please those who are up make sure they don't fall down so if they are under the anointing just guide them in the name of Jesus you are delivered now you are delivered forever in Jesus name 13 years no promotion one three 13 years you've not been promoted the Lord is showing me an individual in a vision for 13 years you've not been promoted and the Lord is saying I should speak to you I want to speak to you by the Spirit listen when you hear prophetic words come like this don't downplay them a lot happens in the realm of the spirit when a word is released 
are we together now there are angels that excel in strength and their assignment is to sit with that's why you see people come to testify and they will tell you this one happened this one happened don't be an unbeliever 13 years you have not been promoted i want to pray for you father look upon whoever this person is is this a lady this is not the person i'm seeing but i will still pray for you in the name of jesus 13 years no promotion father honor your word for this individual using this one in front as a point of contact i decree and declare that not only will you be promoted may god restore you may god restore you may god restore you in the name of jesus christ may god restore you I'm hearing the name tuberculosis in the name of Jesus one of your loved one has tuberculosis and the Lord is telling me he wants to heal that person tuberculosis I'm even seeing that the person coughs out blood sometimes and you know chunks of blood comes out I'm hearing tuberculosis in the name of Jesus anyone here on ground or scattered across suffering from tuberculosis I declare be healed now now all those who are connecting from any hospital or those here trusting God for healing lay your hands now very quickly where you are trusting God for a miracle I have taught you that faith demands the power of God demands that you engage if it's your eyes lay your hands there expecting to be healed if it's your ears lay your hands there if it's your neck if it's a part of your body that is sensitive just lay your hand on your chest as a point of contact by the way you can stand for someone you don't have to be the one who is sick you can stand in for someone releasing your faith i want to pray here's what will happen as soon as i pray and make declarations already there are many people that the power of god has touched i will pray for you doesn't matter what the situation is i don't have to call it i want you to believe by faith check yourself the moment you see that a miracle has happened very quickly i want you to leave your seat and come to the front either by my left or my right i want to seal your miracle as we take a few testimonies and then i will share with you something and then begin to pray over um the various issues in your life that are not related to sickness but i want to pray for the sick now please lay your hands believe i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and greatly to be praised there is a man immediately i'm seeing your case um, what you have is a situation of infertility that is peculiar to men you have had this for a long time in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you now Amen. the Lord is bringing restoration now Amen. now I decree and declare anyone who is sick here in your body in this auditorium all the overflows those connecting stretch your hands in the name of jesus for those who are outside of this auditorium you can stretch your hands by faith i decree and i declare now let the healing power of jesus coming like rain coming like fire let it rest upon the various parts of your body and i declare instant miracles now instant miracles now blind eyes be open now hearing problems deaf ears be open now any part of your body you could not move in jesus name i command it to begin to move there's someone you came here with severe breathing problems in the name of jesus as i pray begin to breathe you find out that there's freedom there's liberty you are able to breathe normally peptic ulcer be healed now hallelujah i don't know I'm not a medical doctor I don't know if there is a relationship between hepatitis and yellow eyes I just saw a vision I saw somebody whose eyes is yellow and I'm seeing hepatitis in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is right now the healing power of Jesus is touching you the healing power of Jesus is touching you in the name of Jesus there is someone 
you have something called um, a urinary infection you can go it embarrasses you sometimes if you don't rush to the bathroom you can ease yourself even before you get to the bathroom this is i don't I, I believe that this is some medical condition wherever you are in the name of jesus now i am praying for you let that demonic sickness that has brought you embarrassment let it leave you now in the name of jesus there's someone when you go to ease yourself you're also stooling blood it looks like pile in the name of jesus christ i command that devil of pile be free from it this moment be free from it this moment hallelujah someone you are having problem with your teeth one by one they are being pulled out it looks like they are weakening this is what the lord is showing me it's like the entire your entire um you know your teeth is is fragile and they've pulled out some but this is something like a cavity problem that is affecting you completely in the name of jesus wherever you are i decree and declare the power of god is touching you this moment be healed in jesus name esther chapter 2 and verse 15 i call it the esther anointing there is the grace for favor can be imparted mm. esther chapter 2 and verse 15 something is coming on someone right now now when the turn of esther the daughter of abihel the uncle of mordecai who had taken her for his daughter listen carefully was come in unto the king she required nothing but what he guy the king's chamberlain the keeper of the women appointed and esther obtained favor in the sight of how many all them that looked upon her next verse the bible says so esther Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus in his royal house in the tenth month, which is the month Tebeth, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. When you read the verses before 15, the Bible says there were many women, and yet Esther went to this strange man called Haggai. He had worked with the king a long time he knows what the king is looking for and she asked him what does the king really want and hey guy said there is an oil i will give you just keep rubbing on your body for one year that's all forget all this how to work the holy spirit can search the heart of your destiny helper he knows what he wants hear me my brothers and my sisters truly there is an anointing for favor there is a grace called favor the assignment of that grace is to insist on the heart of men the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men towards you and towards your assignment i stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace and i stretch my hands first over you here in abuja our family in zaria those following from around the globe from america to europe to asia the caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of jesus the one who has shown us mercy i decree and declare right now receive ye this grace called favor receive ye this grace called favor I place this mantle upon your life. Take this grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the morning, experience favor. In the afternoon, experience favor. In the night, experience favor. In Nigeria, experience favor. In America, experience favor. In Europe experience favor. Every door that needs favor.
404 to be open. I declare my favor open that door now. Hear me. Every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment, I call on my God who is also your God. Let there be a supernatural reconnection now. Every door that this honor has shut that was once open and this honor shut it by the mercy of the God of David, we reopen that door now. And in the name of Jesus, many of you are gifted, but the favor to announce you is not there. You are so gifted, gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift. In the name of Jesus, by the paparakatos katapakate parukoto basiata, and teleke paruska de bashka baruse siata. In the name of Jesus Christ, I give your gift visibility now. By this gift, let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you, may they find you in the name of Jesus. Hear me? In this new season of your life, every relationship you need to connect with, some of you may not know them, international relationships, ministerial relationships, I declare, may that connection happen for you now. Everyone anointed, commissioned, and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season, wherever they are, I stand by the prophetic, I call them into your life now. Hear me? I stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us. And under this corporate anointing, I declare, in the name of Jesus, as a contribution of this supply to the body of Christ, find the grace for favor. By this grace, shame, reproach, hear ye the word of the Lord. Let God's people go now. <laughs> hear me. By this grace upon you, whoever has forgotten you, no matter how long, in the name of Jesus, by favor, may the book of remembrance be opened over you now. <laughs> The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters, he refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for liking this message. Thank you for watching this message. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We love you. We celebrate you. Please share our content with others. Share our content with your follow or your fellow. Um, what do I want to say now? Share our content with your friend, with your family, with your loved ones. Share it with your enemies. Share our content anywhere. Believers Global TV to the whole world. Let's gather and preach the gospel of Christ through the power of media. See you in our next video. Don't forget to share the love of Christ with others and share the love of Christ with your friends, with your family, with your enemies, with your loved ones, with anybody at all. Anybody, human being at all, share the love of Christ with them. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you, the Lord will, the Lord will keep you, the Lord will make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And uh, what do I want to say again? Follow us on all of our social media platforms, on Facebook at Believers Global TV, on uh, Instagram 
at Believers Global TV on the TikTok at Believers Global TV on YouTube at Believers Global TV. See you, see you, see you later. Bye.